Late afternoon, as we rejoin Michael Garcia, he's a little sad. Uh, I was actually doing some things off camera, uh, a little, just some minor maintenance uh, stuff, and I actually ate a lemon, and lemon wasn't bad, but it was on its way to becoming bad, and eating it made me sad, uh, which makes sense, and now I'm trying to make myself happy. Uh, so we can do so by getting a little tipsy. We downed a little bit of alcohol. Ooh, ooh. We downed a bit of alcohol. P I mean, tipsy isn't that, that much. In fact, it's it's really nothing. In fact, I'm curious, what happens if we drink all of it? All right, now we're inebriated. That's fine, having a good time. Hard to walk straight, Michael. <laughs> he deserves it, man, he deserves it. He truly deserves to drink a little bit. Let him let him have a little bit to, to enjoy. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, and drunken gardening is my favorite thing in the world. Or at least, Michael Garcia's favorite thing? I'm just, give, give him an excuse to drink. He hasn't had a drink since the start of all of this. So don't, 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 don't argue with me. Got it? All right, we're gonna put this on the, on the ground and, oh, there's underwear in here, I see. And we're gonna take everything out of the normal hiking bag and we are going to move it to the big one. And we'll go to speed it up. We'll grab the big hiking bag and this will be equipped in our secondary slot. And now we actually have the best hiking bags we could hope for. Uh, on, on one kind of slung over our shoulder and the other on our back with the uh, animation update coming very very soon We'll actually be able to see that which is super exciting for now I'd like to kind of set a few goals here some stuff for Michael Garcia to take care of um, One I need this I need to see if we have a, a basic mechanics book because we're gonna read that um, I replaced the headlights on my vehicle here, but the hood is still in dire need of uh, repair and if we take a look at what we need to repair the thing, or at least to even remove a hood in general, uh, we need basic mechanics. They recommend that we have a mechanic skill of three. Uh, for now, we can't even just, we can't do it. We need basic mechanics. We don't even have that. And we are kind of a long way away from gaining basic mechanics. It seems that from everything I've looked at, uh, the best way to level up mechanics is genuinely just to keep up my, with my car. Like, if, if my hood ends up take, coming off or completely destroyed or I come to a point where there's just no way I can move on with the car, I'll have to find a secondary one. But genuinely just constantly replacing parts is kind of the only advice that I seem to find uh, about it. There's no there's no better way to, to level, them, level it up otherwise. And that makes sense. Uh, it makes a whole lot of sense. And it's kind of the way Michael Garcia has operated for so long. So that's what we'll end up doing. For now, we're already tired. So I'm gonna speed up time I'm gonna let myself become exhausted and I'm gonna fall asleep a little early today with hopes of wa waking up early the following morning. And, uh, there we go. And uh, being able to start working on the car sooner rather than later. I just hope I don't wake up at like 3 a.m. I hope I wake up at like five. Well, mm, right at 5.10, perfect, all right. We'll go have a breakfast, and now we're gonna start going through. Thought I heard a thud. We'll have to go outside real quick and check. Um, we're gonna have to be very, very, very careful about our food consumption. Now, now that we are no longer really able to use our refrigerator, um, we're, we're basically on our last bits of uh, consumables. That's pretty much all we've got. We need to get farming going soon, too. I wonder if I have the trowel up here before I go back downstairs. I bet you it's somewhere in here. I just threw it into a drawer at some point and forgot all about it. Okay. So I think for the most of the day, Michael Garcia is going to play around with uh, pulling tires off of cars and uh, just genuinely trying to get a better feel for how cars work. We're not going to touch our car all that much, but we do have a parking lot just to the north where we can um, start taking apart, taking taking bits of it off and taking it apart. We could even do it to this car here, but. I'd rather go where there's a little bit more space in, a, in an open area. And I don't have to wa deal with another car kind of jammed up right against it and fighting it for space. 
All right, we'll start up here and basically we'll work our way through. I don't know how much of this is going to be really all that enjoyable to watch, so I'll leave it in the hands of my trusty editor, Dean, to make sure Michael Garcia gets only the highlights. And I'll try and make this as fast as I can. Okay. We're going to be popping these in our inventory, so I'm going to be dropping them pretty much every time. We can pile them there. And I'm going to leave any tire that is above 60%. I'm actually going to go ahead and leave. I think I heard a zombie moan over here, so we're going to hold out for a second. Took some tires off and the battery out of this car. The car, the tire in the middle actually is about 83%. Uh, I might take that back to my vehicle and actually install it if I can. Yeah, this is a zombie in here somewhere. Multiple? Definitely multiple. All right. So this courthouse is not as safe as I once thought it was. And maybe doing mechanics out out in the uh, open like this was a uh, maybe riled them up a little bit. So let's take this good tire. Let's swing back and maybe replace our tire, one of our tires. It's a value standard type tire. We'll carry it back. Okay. And then we'll install the better one. Perfect. We'll swing in, we'll drop this tire off. All right, other than that, um, I think we're actually gonna take the car out and we're gonna head into town a little bit. Not the town like with the city and the all the zombies over there. Um, instead, Instead, I mean down the uh, little residential zone. And I'm gonna fill up on planks and I wanna start bringing some planks back here so that I can uh, get some wall frames up properly. I think we can just go, well, we know if we go back that, if we go down this road over here, it's the right way, so. Just back up. We'll also spend a lot of time deconstructing furniture. I don't want that house there. There's three zombies, but we're going to de deconstruct beds that we may not have deconstructed for a lot of it. I just want to be kind of in the center here. Yeah, right here is fine. Do we have a lot of space? I didn't even think about that. We have a decent amount of it. All right. We want planks. So that's what we're going to be here for. Let's go ahead and disassemble this thing. I'm going to do it via the wall. Going to do it via the wall. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. Oh, we can actually disassemble the, the uh, door too. Because we have the screwdriver. So we can actually grab hinges and such. Perfect. Okay. Let's get that bag back on our back. Let's start throwing planks in where we can. And we'll put we'll bring them over to the car. We have plenty of nails. Seven planks out of that bed. Oh, that's beautiful. Let's take a look at our skill. Barely anything. Oof. Level four is going to be a lot. Okay. Let's see what we can shove into the trunk. We might have to make a, a quick trip back just to make space in our car. can hear a zombie in this house over here. So I'm not going to speedily uh, empty my inventory. I'm going to do it slowly. Okay. I think this is actually all we can do. Let's take the car back. The trunk is full. I'm still holding on to two planks. They're kind of sitting in his lap as he's driving. We'll bring it back. All right. And let's actually back up to where I want to use it. Okay, Zombo. See if I can push you to the ground. Oof, you're fast. Good. Nice and clean. All right. Wall frame it, baby. Let's get these up. Okay, that's two. 
I'll drop these gas cans off in the garage. Even the ones in the passenger seat as well. So basically we want this all the way to the fence. That's how much wall we have to build. I'd rather get the frames up so we have uh, something that can at least slow them down if we need to. Um, if there's like a big huge swarm of Zeds coming at us. Uh, if we even having this up can be a big, big, big help. Okay. We'll get all the gas in and then on the next trip, we'll load up with some planks. I really do enjoy this aspect of the game. It's a nice balancing act that I kind of forget about and how, about how fun it is to be able to go out and fight and scavenge and deal with the hordes then come back and just do some housekeeping. It's relaxing. And the pro you get to actually see the progress being made, which is really cool. I'm going to drop this plank here for now. Actually, I'll leave it outside. There's no reason for me to bring it with me, but I should. I, there's no reason for me to leave it inside either. Okay. Let's grab some gas out of the back seat. I don't know what to do with that propane tank. Should I leave it in the car? Probably doesn't matter all that much. A little peckish. We'll grab a snack and then uh, we'll rest for a little bit. It's still very early in the day. We're really putting Mike Garcia to work here. And then we'll swing out. Hello, old girl. Out for another ride. Hope you don't mind. Thank you for cooperating. Come on. Come on. Give you like a little rear end to grab your attention and drag you this way. The pack of zombies moved. It might have been the ones we heard while we were dismantling furniture. All right. We'll pop up one extra house. We'll stop here. Hello. I really, really want a trowel. Oh, wow. Whoever lived here was a farmer. And we finally, finally, finally have a trowel to our name. Oh, that's a big pickup. Very, very big pickup for us. Okay. Wow. That made this, this whole thing worth it on another level, man. All right, let's speed it up. Let's start jamming planks into our bags. Into the trunk. I like to put all my big old wood inside that trunk. Putting all my wood in the back of that trunk. Don't worry, she said it was okay. Did not get many planks out of that one. A lot of unusable wood. But we got experience. And sometimes... That's all you could ever hope for. It's starting to get dark as well. Alright. I think we've got enough time to peep one more house. Oh my god. I had no idea there were that many zombies over there. Time to move. We'll just pull off to the left here. We can easily circle around. Oof. Right. Our old home area, I forgot. Technically, it's up here. On the same road as the church. Alright. There's a lot of... You know what? With how much sunlight is left, it'd be a waste to throw away what we've gathered here. So let's head back. Ooh, we've got that cluster. Man, they did not go far. That's a bummer. They got trapped, like, right there. Well. I have to clear them. If I don't, I'm just leaving myself a bigger headache later. Good, good. 
Come on, fall on the ground. Push him, push him, push him, push him, push him. Stomp him, stomp him. Push him, stomp him. That's what we do. We call the push and stomp uh, method out here. Michael Garcia trademarked 2019. Let's go. Fantastic. Let's build a wall, baby. We're going to grab this last plank here. And now we're going to start carpentrying. Okay. Boom, baby. That's as good as it gets. Slow but sure progress, man. Slow but sure progress. Not sure if I'm going to keep the rest of the production of this wall on camera. Uh, I do want to get the garden on camera at least a little bit, but I, I'm probably going to finish this on my own, at least the, the actual frame. We're making progress, but I understand. It's not the most enjoyable thing to watch in the world sometimes, but there are those out there like myself who enjoy the quieter days of Michael Garcia's journey. Besides, it's hard not to record at least everything. You never know when something's going to go just ass up and you end up dying for no good reason. Either way, another peaceful day for Mr. Garcia here. Hope he enjoys it while he has them. They won't be lasting forever, that's for certain. <laughs>